Hello and welcome back to the channel for another What We Do in the Shadows recap. Uh, this is the third episode of the first season, Werewolf Feud, uh, and it's one of my favourites. Uh, starts off with Laszlo and his topiary garden, uh, with some not safe for work toperies that he's done, uh, but he discovers some werewolf pee in the bushes and he isn't happy. Meanwhile, we see Colin in his office as he sucks the life and joy out of everyone uh, as a new lady joins the force. This is Evie who's joining the office. Uh, at first, Colin can't quite work out what's going on with her. Meanwhile, the other vampires are trying to deal with a werewolf which has now become trapped on the lawn. Nadja, in particular, is not happy about the situation. Nandor explains to us the history of the vampire werewolf conflict that has been stretching back decades. They argue about what to do with the injured werewolf, but he gets up and takes himself away. At this point, Colin is discovering that Evie is an emotional vampire, so he sort of bores people and she just makes people cry, essentially, or depresses them. The werewolves come for a bit of a conflict on the front lawn, but Nandor stops it before it all kicks off, saying that they must abide by the treaty that exists. The treaty that, again, goes all the way back to 1990s. Evie and Colin have a confrontation before eventually they do decide to work together. Vanessa Bayer does an excellent job as Evie in the episode. I hope she does return someday. The werewolves and the other vampires are having a confrontation on neutral ground, which is the roof of a shop. It's a big, big werewolf that Nandor apparently has to fight, but the payoff to this whole sequence is just fantastic. And we lean into the dog jokes. I mean, the werewolves are one of the best things about the world of what we do in the shadows. It was true in the film and it's true in the, the series. Eventually, Colin decides that he and Evie are too much to working as one unit for everybody around them. So he breaks up with her, which she plays on to get some more mileage out of him, as well as draining some energy out of the poor person she then calls on the phone to deal with her laundry. It's a fantastic episode. Both the A and B plots are fantastic for this one. Uh, yeah, we'll have another quick catch up soon.